Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to The Hobby. I am back from my trip to London for the Pokemon World Championship. It was a lot of fun. It was my first time in the UK. Met a ton of cool people, took a lot of photos, bought some Pokemon cards, traded some Pokemon cards. It was a lot of fun, but enough about me. We got a ton of Pokemon card news to cover today. So let's get started. We will start with the biggest news first, and that is Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards have been revealed for the upcoming year. And it looks like EX Pokemon cards are making a return. We have two revealed cards, and that is the Coridon EX as well as the Maridon EX, some new Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. First impressions, I don't love the design of these lowercase EX cards. They almost remind me of the XY era EX cards with the uppercase letters. It looks okay. I'm not wowed by the design yet. I was hoping for something a little bit more innovative with Scarlet and Violet, but it looks to be just a return to form. Like I said, it looks really like 2015 era Pokemon cards. Love it or hate it, totally up to you. We also had a couple of other Pokemon cards that saw very small sneak peeks of. We had Mimikyu EX. We also had Lucario EX and Magnezone EX. So they're revealing a couple of Pokemon and the general design, it's okay. We haven't really seen that much yet. We don't know if alternate art cards are making a return. We don't really know how that new crystallizing mechanic is really going to come into place for the Pokemon cards yet. That will probably be revealed at a later date. Next big piece of news is that we finally have an update on our final Sword and Shield set for this year, which is going to be Silver Tempest. Uh, this set has been revealed and it's going to be released on November 11th, our final Sword and Shield Pokemon card set. It has been a wild ride. The original first Sword and Shield base set came out right around when the pandemic started. And pretty much right here, we're nearing pretty much the final last leg of the pandemic. Pretty much everything is back to normal now. And Sword and Shield's been over, took three years. Crazy, it's been an absolutely crazy three years. Generally speaking, Silver Tempest looks like a very well-designed set. There is going to be a Lugia V-Star that is probably gonna be the chase card for Silver Tempest. There's also gonna be a Reggie Drago V-Star and a Reggie Alecki V-Star. Uh, but the real interesting part is that Alolan Vulpix seems to be the flagship of the set. Alolan Vulpix is featured on the booster pack. Alolan Vulpix is featured on the Elite Trainer Box. And while I'm a huge fan of Alolan Vulpix, I think it's a well-designed Pokemon. And I love the design of the Elite Trainer Box because it really fits with the winter season. It's very nicely designed. It's just kind of weird to have Alolan Vulpix, which is of course an Alolan Pokemon being featured as the flagship for Sword and Shield era, which is, you know, a completely different region. So that is kind of questionable. I mean, make as much as you love Alolan Vulpix, I just don't feel like maybe that's like the right choice for Sword and Shield era, you know, especially for the finale of it, but it is what it is. Very cool Elite Trainer box. Like I said, I love the design of it. And it's kind of interesting because we usually see the Evolve Pokemons on the cover. So it's usually like maybe like an Alolan Ninetales or a Blast Toys or a Legendary like Mewtwo or Rayquaza. It's kind of interesting. We almost never see something like Lolan Vulpix on the cover of an Elite Trainer Box. So it is something different, which is always nice. Final big piece of news is that Special Delivery Charizard has been regularly distributed over the last couple of weeks. Lots of viewers and collectors have been getting copies of Special Delivery Charizard, and it looks like prices are actually going down to an almost reasonable range. In my first impression, I said that the card would probably go for around $150 to $100. If it's any more expensive than that, then the Pokemon company really missed the mark. And right now, looking at TCG Player and eBay prices, it looks to be going for right around anywhere from $100 to $80. So pretty reasonable. It's still a really expensive card. I mean, if you get one of these code cards, you're practically 
getting free money, free value for your Pokemon card collection because you're spending $20, $25 purchasing whatever products from the Pokemon Center and you're getting a card that's valued around $80 to $100 right now. How much lower can this card really go? I think probably it's probably at its lowest point. I don't know if it can go much lower than $80. Maybe down to the lowest that special delivery Charizard will go is $50. And at $50, I actually think that's a really reasonable pickup price for people who are looking to pick it up internationally that did not have the opportunity to pick it up directly from a Pokemon Center. These are, you know, European collectors, Japanese collectors, Singaporean, Hong Kong collectors, people from places that just did not have the opportunity to pick up special delivery Charizard. That's all the news that I had for you guys today. I'm sure you're wondering what some of the cards that I picked up when I went to the UK for the Pokemon World Championship were. And I actually am really happy with some of my pickups because there were some really cool cards there. A lot of collectors were willing to sell or trade even trophy cards. So there were some really cool stuff there. We had Mario Pikachu, Scream promos, lots of rare exclusive cards. And interestingly enough, some of the cards that I picked up were UK exclusive. I was able to get myself a Pikachu on the ball card, which was a card that I've been looking out for for quite a while. Picked it up for like 60 pounds, which is a really good deal if you're looking at that card. It's going for upwards of $100 over here in the United States. As well, I was able to pick up some sealed Pikachu promo cards. I already had them graded, but now I'm starting to get into sealed collectibles just because it's, it is kind of neat to be able to have some Pokemon cards that are still sealed inside of their original wrapper. That's just something that I'm currently interested in. So those were some of the things that I picked up when I was in the UK. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.